Okay, so I'm going to respond to your Furby information later, but I have a lot of interesting footage to show you from Monday when Lauren and I went down to Ann Arbor and then we went to Ikea for various exciting reasons. Hi David! So, we are in Graffiti Alley. What's cool about Graffiti Alley is that whenever you go, it never looks the same. There's always something else painted over what was originally there, or what you saw last time. So, when we went, it was like a whole new experience. So, things have changed a lot since last time we were here. The creepy bearded man guy was new. One of the Pac-Man ghost evil guys was new. Alan, 2011, which hasn't happened yet. There's a friendly robot. We went to the $15 store. I got this. Lauren got these. Woo! And this. I will not explain what this is for. Lame sign. Pink bike. And then we got to a part on campus where they had really, really big trees. And I thought one deserved a name. I named the big tree. It was at this point of the day that I realized I was really uncomfortable with filming while people were around. So, the campus is a very interesting location. On the one hand, They aren't smoking cigarettes. And on the other hand, <laughs> hey, blowing bubbles and they're yelling at us. <laughs> and as we were attempting to flee the scene before the bubble blowers just rose up and attacked us or something, Lauren kept trying to tell me about this band, and she just kept repeating it over and over and over again. So I was like, "What are you talking about?" They sing, they sing China Grove. What are you talking about? Doobie Brothers. The, 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 the band. Doobie Brothers. They, they sing China Grove. They're like... And what does that have to do with anything that we're talking about? Because Doobies. Doobie Brothers. Uh-huh. Connection. Yeah. <laughs> There's a connection. 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 I remember telling you before that Lauren and her family really like squirrels. Like, really like squirrels. And in Ann Arbor, there are a lot of squirrels. Really big squirrels and really friendly squirrels. And so, of course, Lauren had to go hang out with some squirrels. Okay, so I, I was trying to be all sneaky, like they might run away. But as I got closer, they didn't even care. So then I started making noises. And that one right there... He, like, turned and looked at me. And I was like, oh, cool. And then he started coming at me. And I was like, no. <laughs> that squirrel. But then he went eight and nut, <laughs> so it's okay. So remember last time we came to Ann Arbor and it like rained, and then we just decided to like point out Asians. Well, we've been doing that today. Asians, bigger group of Asians. Okay, I'm gonna pause the recapping of Monday's little adventures to say that you need to watch this next clip really, really carefully. Like, look at the sidewalk across the street. And look at the what's moving, okay? Okay. Oh shoot, we missed it. You can barely. On this street, all of a sudden, a, a guy in a carrot suit. I'm sorry. A guy in a carrot suit comes running, and we're like, oh my god, get the camera out because there's a guy in a carrot suit. Then comes a bunny chasing the guy. In the chasing suit. the guy in a carrot suit. To be clear, it is actually a man in. A bunny suit, not an actual bunny. So. <laughs> so the carrot bunny shenanigans was the last pretty big epic thing worth sharing about Ann Arbor. And then we hopped in the car and we drove to the greatest place in the entire world. IKEA! On the way we saw a Rubik's Cube like statue thing. I'm not sure what it was for, but it was there and it was cool. Giant Rubik's Cube for the win! So Ikea is wonderful for many different reasons, but today it was especially wonderful because of what we found in the kids' toy section. Oh, Ikea. How oh, you make me proud. Look at all of the carts. You just walk on the sea of carts. 
Ikea is also wonderful because their carts are like crabs. They can go sideways and like do spinny things and they're so much better than normal carts. Ah! <laughs> Ikea even has things like this. Bite hooks! As well as really sweet displays like this. Holy cow. The way Ikea is set up is also really cool because on like the first place you go to, it has all the display rooms and you get to see everything all pretty and how it looks. And then you go downstairs and that's where you like get the small things like pillows and kitchen supplies and stuff. And then the last thing you do is probably the most tiring and most overwhelming part. You go to the storeroom and get your big pieces. <laughs> holy cow. I just like to point out that all the holy cow comments are kind of ironic considering what we saw two stuffed cows doing. I think IKEA makes their floors purposefully slippery, so by the time you get down here and you're like really tired and cranky and stuff, you can't help but be happy because the floors are so much fun. I'd just like to prove to you, David, that women are able to carry very, very large, heavy objects as well as pack a car proficiently after having three carts. Yay! So needless to say, the trip to Ikea was really successful, and the rest of the day was a lot of fun too. Now on to your claims that Furbies can talk. I don't believe you. You have no proof. All you have is a Wikipedia page saying that they can talk. You don't actually have a Furby talking to me. You don't. And you won't have one, so therefore you lose. And I'm still right because you do not have proof. Oh, one more thing. You're, you're trying really hard to uh, keep up with my intro skills, but I think you're falling a little bit behind, so maybe you should just plan to step that up a bit. I'm just saying. But what do I know? Hmm. I'm done. Bye. So needless to say, it was a pretty successful day. I can rhyme. I don't care what you say. What?